so I saw this video, um, Mark Rober, science YouTuber out there. This video was really, really illustrative of like, okay, hey, you know, you have you have 20 children in a in a room, right? Yeah. And they all are little variables that you can't control, and they have hands that go everywhere. And they're all disgusting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, they're all very sweet, but usually disgusting. I've always thought if we could somehow just see the germs around us, everyone would be a lot more careful, and we'd get sick way less. Unfortunately, that's still not possible. So I did the next best thing by running a day-long experiment in this third grade classroom. I found this powder called glow germ, and just like real germs, when it's on your hands, you can't see it. But unlike real germs, if you turn a black light on, it becomes visible. But it transfers to things you've touched, so it provides a really good way to visualize exactly how germs spread. So before the kids arrived, as a control, I went around and noted any pre-existing spots in the room that fluoresced under the black light, and then it was go time. The kids, of course, had no idea what we were doing and that the teacher had been secretly infected with the glowing powder. So she randomly shook the hands of three kids, but didn't touch any of the rest. And so with that, they just went about their normal day. At break, I did choose one random student and he agreed to let me put some of the powder on his hands too. And then two hours later at lunchtime, I checked the results. Remember, everything you see here started with just the teacher and one student having a little of that powder on their hands. And because my flashlight can only illuminate one spot at a time, I used Photoshop to better visualize our observations of where germs were left behind, including on the other kids. Uh oh, you're pretty hot over here. Oh, right here. And they were actually pretty diligent about washing their hands. This was the desk of the kid that was infected. And what's crazy is that germs could live on a hard surface like this for up to nine days. And so you can see how important it is to disinfect the things a sick person regularly touches. For example, this was the phone of the teacher in the experiment. Even if you wash your hands really often, if you immediately pull out your phone, a lot of those germs just go right back on your hands. Think about when the last time was that you cleaned your phone. I think that is one of the most illustrative examples of like, hey, this is like an unbeatable problem, in my opinion. Like children being children. Yes, yeah. We've, we've planned our public safety around the behavior of children. I listen to my mom and she's telling me that they have all these safety regulations. You know, the kids are sitting six feet apart and they only have half the kids in the building at one time. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, like he, he goes on later in the video and talks about like the, the frequency in which people touch their face. Right. And he says that um, even if you tell someone, hey, don't touch your face. The first thing they do is touch their face when they don't. Well, now you've planted it. that seed. Exactly. I'm, I have to try really hard right now. now. Right now. I'm literally <laughs> like I'm clenching this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had I had two questions about that video and this segment here um if you were a teacher right now what creative things would you do to stop your children from spreading germs i'd retire <laughs> honestly <laughs> I mean, I would have been, okay when people say teaching is a calling that's like code for we're gonna treat you badly for less money than you could get on the marketplace because you really have a calling to be treated badly yeah but um no i mean but yeah, honestly but, but realistically if i was uh if i was like i'm gonna see this through mm -hmm. Um, I guess beyond face mask, I probably would have like a gazillion gloves and I might wear a hazmat suit every day, partly because <laughs> I think the kids would think it was fun. <laughs> what I never taught elementary school is that little kids like to hug a lot mm -hmm. or like to come up to their teachers and like hug them or whatever. And I can't, I don't like that. Just a no touching policy type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I need no like, I need that policy. six foot radius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something that I saw that, threw me was somebody sent their kid to school with like a Superman mask and the kid came home with a Spider-Man mask. Oh my God. <laughs> because their friend, they had liked each other's masks. They traded masks. Oh no. Yeah. So uh, oh, a really very funny, specific though. like no trading masks. Yeah. You had to really tie it to their face. Tie yeah. It to their face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and maybe I like I like a lot of the schools that are doing the, uh, the half capacity so they can have yeah. more space and then I know a lot of schools are doing like Alternatives to recess. Yep. Because I think that's probably going to be one of your more dangerous spots. It, but the it's younger the kids outside, get, outside though, so it might be somewhat safer. Oh, but it's a lot of like touching though. That's yeah. true. Like think about what games like little kids play. You know, right. like, tag Red Rover. Oh, send Jimmy. I, I ran out of. I ran out of, of games. they like, if you guys were thinking back to like when you were in school, like how do you think you would do in this like COVID era? Do Terribly. You think, yeah. I, I would have thrived. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna be cynical. I was like the kid. I don't like to do recess. I really? like to be with my book. 
jokes <laughs> and be left alone. This will be my moment because I was ready for this. I, I, I would totally be the person who has lunch with the teacher, <laughs> like some sort of loon. <laughs> I was very social. I would have a very, I would have had a very hard time. I think essential workers definitely, you know, deserve like some sort of award for having to do this all the time. But yeah. I think teachers is a specific type of hell where it's like it's the same kids with the same capacity for spreading germs every day and i i just i don't know so i don't think our i mean it was always our system wasn't designed for this already but right. like you and i was a teacher there was like you have 28 students and 25 desks make it work yep right <laughs> like, right fortunately a lot of people were skipping class at a given moment or skipping school <laughs> at a given moment so it wouldn't usually work out but like thank god for truancy <laughs> yeah, yeah thank god because yeah. i have nowhere for you to sit you i read... sit at my desk you just sit on the window sill, <laughs> sit oh, on the man. heater that's <laughs> awful as a former teacher um i know that even in the best of times teaching can be very stressful and so right now with the pandemic we want to make sure that all the teachers who listen to us have access to the estate planning documents that they need to feel safe. And so uh, we're going to work with you to find a price point that works for you. Um, we are trying to help as many teachers as possible, especially in the Atlanta area. And so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about wills, trusts, or estate planning, post a comment. We would love to help you. Um, we don't just offer wills and trusts, though. We offer a lot of other stuff. James, you want to talk about? It? Yeah, like Noah said, it's, it's more than just wills. We also do things like advanced health care directives, HIPAA waivers for your loved ones, and, and other things that you can do as far as power of attorney to make sure that if something does happen, um, people are going to be able to help you out. So if you're not sure if it's something that we can help you with, give us a call or reach out. Uh, we really want to help and we'll do our best to do what we can. Sounds great, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you know any teachers that you think could benefit from this, uh, post their, tag them in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.